Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given this diagram which shows a triangle ABC with AC being 6 centimetres, BC being 8 centimetres, and angle BAC being 60 degrees, and angle ABC being gamma. Find the exact value of sine gamma, simplifying your answer. So, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, because we're dealing with a non-right angle triangle, and also because we know opposite sides of our triangle to the angle, that is, we know the opposite side to the 60 degrees, and we know the opposite side to the angle that we're trying to find, then this is a typical case of the sine rule. So using the sine rule, what we do is we take our angle, in this case sine of gamma, and compare it with the opposite side, which is 6 centimeters. And this is exactly the same as comparing, again, the sine of an angle, in this case sine of 60 degrees, with its opposite side, which is 8 centimeters. So, to work out the sine of gamma, what we need to do is multiply both sides by 6. So, we get 6 times the sine of 60 degrees, and this is divided by 8. And if we just come down here, so what we've got then is that sine gamma equals 6 over 8, and we need the sine of 60 degrees, which I suppose you could work out the exact value on your calculator if it will handle that, or you can just turn to working it from the basic triangle that you should know, which is that if you take an equilateral triangle, okay, all its angles would be 60 degrees. Okay, so that would be 60 degrees in there. And if we take the sides of our triangle to be two units, that would be two, two, and so on, that would be two. But if I cut it down the middle, okay, then that two units gets cut in half, so that becomes one unit there. And working off this triangle in here, we can see that by Pythagoras' theorem, this side here will be equal to the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared. In other words, the root of 4 minus 1, the root of 3. So x here, okay, is equal to the root of 3. So, for sine 60, what's the exact value? Sine of 60 compares the opposite side with the hypotenuse. So, that'd be root 3 over 2. So, we've got 6 eighths then multiplied by root 3 over 2. And if we simplify this, let's say you cancel out the 2 into the 6, you get 3. So, you end up with 3 root 3 over 8 as your exact value.